don't know about you, but I like to perk and shape every once in a while. So that is exactly what we're gonna do for our abs and our bum. So the only thing you need for this workout will be your dumbbells, also your mat if you have that, because we will be on the ground for some of the exercises to give you an idea of here for what we're working with or what I'm gonna be working with to give you a range for the glute work. I'm gonna be working anywhere between about, say 15 to 25 pounds. So for that, we're gonna have things like squats. We're gonna be doing the glute bridge as well. So that is what I'm gonna use that range for. Pick something that is going to really challenge you because that's how we're gonna perk and that's how we're gonna shape is by going heavy to build those strong muscles. So with that said, we're gonna go through a quick warm up and then we're gonna get right into our workout. So we're just gonna start right now by marching it out, bringing your heels to your bum. So it's always important to get a little bit of a warm up in just to get the joints, get the blood awake, get the blood awake. Well, the blood should be awake. <laughs> Wake up the joints, get the blood moving and get the muscles ready to go heavy. We're gonna switch it up in three, two, and one. From here, we're going to do leg swings. So just taking one leg, getting a nice solid stance, we're gonna swing back and forth on one side, waking up the hips, and we're gonna swing this forward in three, in two, and one. So from here, we're gonna swing it forward and back. And then we're gonna switch sides. So again, just working through quickly, we're gonna bring it onto the mat to warm up a little bit too. Here's three, two, and one. Solid stance here on the other leg, side to side, then forward and back. So here we go. This is my not as solid side. I think we all have one of those. Good, three. We're gonna go forward and back in two and one. Now forward and back. Breathing. Here's three. Two and one. First, we're gonna work through squats. So bring it out, nice squat position, no weights. We're gonna lower and bring it up. Good, three more and then we'll bring it down. Two and one, bring it right onto your back. We're gonna go into just a glute bridge. So working through this a few times, again, warming up everything. Here we go, squeeze. Three more, here's three, two, and one. Warming up the abs just a little bit. We're just gonna bring it up nice and slow, hands behind your head, squeeze and hold. Working through five, here's four. Down, three more, here's three, two, and last one. We're gonna go right into a squat. So you can bring it up right to your feet, going right into your squat. So make sure you've got some heavy dumbbells, two sets for each here, and then we're gonna hit a burnout set. So grab your dumbbells and let's get ready to go. All right, so bringing those dumbbells up on your shoulders, shoulders rolled down and back. We go in five seconds, make sure the weight stays in your heels and let's rock it out, here we go. So because we are focusing on the glutes, right here at the top of your squat, when you come up, think about squeezing the glutes, pushing your hips forward. And squeeze. Come on, you've got it. Ooh. And up. Five seconds, here's three, two, one, nice. Ooh, shake it out, breathe. Getting ready, one more set for that. One more time through. I'll remind you here at the beginning, I'll remind you a little bit throughout, but make sure you're going heavy enough. So by the last few reps, it should be super challenging. If it's not, consider moving up in weight a little bit. We gotta go again. Here's three, two, Let's begin. Come on, really squeeze right here. Squeeze, push the hips forward.
Almost there. Oh, last time through for these squats. Good. Five seconds. Two, one. Nice, all right. Now, we're gonna keep the squat low. We're gonna go into a side to side squat. I'm gonna adjust my weights just a little bit. Breathing. So, one thing that will really help work those glutes is keeping it low the entire time. So we're gonna start with feet, not completely together, but just a small stance and then we'll take it out wider. So here we go. So bring those feet back into center, then drop it down. So marching it side to side, keeping everything low. that chest up. Oh boy. Wow. And we still have that burnout at the end. Oh, tell you what, the glutes by the end. And last one. It's gonna feel good. It's gonna be awesome. Quick recovery. We've got that once more through. So we have one round for glutes, then a round for abs. We're gonna finish out with glutes again. No, we got, no. Glutes, glutes, abs. So two glutes back to back. Grab your dumbbells, we're going for that low side to side squat, so feet together, bring it down, and let's go. So you'll bring it when you're center, you're about halfway down your squat. Then you widen it all the way down. So work in that range. Last one. Here's two. One, nice. No dumbbells for this next exercise. In fact, if you need a little extra balance, you can hold on to the wall. We're gonna do an alternating rear leg lift. So we'll keep it low and we'll lift. So again, if you need to hold on to something, get into position for that. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So almost as if you're skiing. You're nice and low in this position and you're bringing that leg back. As you lift, it's not about how high your leg is going. It's about the glute contraction. So lift it, squeeze the glute, control it down. You may feel this a little bit in the quads as well, keeping this low position. Some of the exercises are going to be more focused just on the glutes. Some of them will work the lower body all around, but still targeting the glutes. Last one. Oh, breathe. One more time through. Wow, we are a couple exercises in and it's already getting toasty. But wait, oh, we are definitely gonna be perking and building. We gotta get ready, last time for this. So sink it down, sink it down nice and low and let's go. Good. Try to keep it low. And really squeeze as you lift. You can even, if it helps you to feel the muscle contracting, so you can squeeze it even more, reach back and feel that working as you squeeze. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one, nice. Time for that burnout. This is gonna be a squat pulse. So you can grab some dumbbells if you'd like, or just do it without dumbbells, only doing body weight. I'm gonna get some dumbbells. But again, we're gonna keep it low, moving up and down just a few inches. Okay, we gotta go in three seconds. Bring it down, 
and let's pulse. Weight stays in the heels, chest is up. If your form starts to get questionable, stand it up for a second, shake it out, get right back into it. Don't forget to breathe. Next round is gonna be worked all on the ground. So we'll talk about what we need so we can have our dumbbells ready. Whew. Come on, almost there. Keep it low. Good, here's three, two, one. Nice. All right, now we're gonna bring it on to the mat. Dumbbells you will need for glute bridge if you wanna use those. So grab those. We're also gonna add fire hydrant. So dumbbell weight will be the only, only for the glute bridge. But we're gonna start with the fire hydrant and rear leg lift first. We're gonna work one side two sets through, then the other. So get into position. We go in three, two, one. Lift and extend. Shoulders, elbows, wrists are in line. And you're breathing. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, one. Ooh, nice. That is a tough one. Breathe in one more time. Same exercise, same side. We gotta move it quick though. Anytime you need to grab a drink, dry off, make sure you do that. Back into position, we go in three seconds. Two, here we go. Fire hydrant, two, leg lift. Squeezing the glute the whole time through. Again, with that rear leg extension, it's not about how high you go. It's about contracting those glute muscles as you lift. Come on, almost there. Ooh. Here's two. And one, breathe. Same thing, other side now. Whew. Let's bring it down. Elbows, shoulders, wrists all in line here. We go in three seconds. Two, fire hydrant to lift. I love to mix it up between heavy dumbbell work and body weight work. Challenges your, your balance with some of these moves, but then also we're building strength. So we're working all around right now. And these little moves can really bring on a big burn. And one. Ooh. Awesome, one more time through. Then we've got our glute bridge, so this is the next set is where you will need your dumbbells. Whew. Almost through the two glute rounds though. Bring it back in, five seconds and we go. Here's three, two, and let's go. Breathing, as we lift, we exhale. Keep that core engaged. So think about bringing your belly button into your spine, but not rounding or arching your back. Whew. 
here it is. Three, two, one. Flipping it on over glute bridge. So two sets through for glute bridge. Grab your dumbbells. If you're using those, you can use one or two dumbbells. I like to use two on each hip, but you can also use one right across as well. Oh. So we're gonna roll it back. We go in three, in two, here we go. Squeeze. Don't hold it down at the bottom too long. Get it right back up. And after this glute bridge, the core is gonna be nice and warm and ready for abs. Whew. So we've got three sets. This one, one more set for glute bridge, and then that burner set. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest it down. Quick 25 second recovery. Whew. You're doing awesome. I don't know about you, but I, I'm feeling the perk here. We are building it. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's go. Keep the weight in your heels. Make sure your knees are staying in line with your toes. So you don't want your knees falling out to the side or even into the center. And really work full range of motion all the way down. Squeeze all the way up. Oh, come on, this is it. You've got three, two, Ooh, lower it down. Nice. Finally have made it to the burnout round, which is glute bridge pulse. I am going to, you can keep your dumbbells, you can do body weight, you can do one dumbbell, however you wanna work it. 45 second glute bridge pulse. So get ready, let's bring it up because we gotta go in three seconds. Two, and let's pulse. Down and squeeze. So get it to that top of range of motion and then you back it down a couple inches and then right back up. Just because we're pulsing doesn't mean we're trying to work through as fast as we can. The pulses are still controlled, working at your own tempo, so it might be a slow pace. I'm going pretty slow through these. Come on, really squeeze. Almost there. Oh my God, this is definitely a burnout. Whew. Here's two and one. Nice job. So no more dumbbells, but we will get them off to the side and out of the way. We're gonna stay on the mat for our abs round. First exercise is the rope climb. So you can keep your feet down as a modification, just reaching up or hands behind your head doing the crunch. You can bring your legs up and reach. So this is the rope climb. You reach one arm up and then the other. Good. So almost like you're climbing a rope with your legs straight up to the sky because you know we always do that. That's just what it reminds me of, so that's why I call it this. Come on, really get it up. Focus on getting those shoulder blades up and exhale. Come on, really think about reaching for your toes. Almost there. Ooh. Three, two. Ooh, you can stretch it out. Abs round, same structure. We've got three exercises, two sets, plus the burnout round. One more time with that rope, climb. But again, if you need to take that modification with just the crunch, either way, you're working to get those shoulder blades up off of the mat. So legs up if you're working that, and let's go. Exhale. 
exhale with the crunch. Think about bringing those ribs down to your hips. So minimize that space. You can even place your hands on your abs to really feel them working. Make that mind-muscle connection. Breathing. Three, two, ooh, my oh my. Stretch it out. We're going into scissor kicks. So hands are gonna be right next to your bum, not underneath your bum. So you wanna make sure your low back can stay pressed into the mat to really effectively work those abs. So feet are up if you're taking the modification. The lower the legs, the more difficult. Just keep the low back pressed in. We go in three seconds, two, and one. Here we go. Oh, scissor. We're crossing the ankles. Sorry, I'm getting ready to do. Oh. Again, keep that low back pressed into the mat. If you find it's arching, bring those legs up. Don't forget to breathe. Good, you've got three, two, oh, yes. One more set, I, just, I feel like it's a sauna in here. It's 30 degrees out, we don't even have the heat on it. I, I am toasting it up. Oh, my oh my, this, we are working it. I'm telling you what, we're getting ready to go again. Scissor kicks, so you know the modifications. Make sure that back is pressed in. And we begin. So crisping and crossing those ankles. Breathing. Well over halfway. Good, three, two, okay, one. Oh, now we are working a crunch. We're gonna go right, center, left, center, and alternate through right, center, left, center, and back. We gotta go very soon in five seconds, hands behind your head, hands just gently holding onto your head for support, and here we go. So working through that pattern, right, center, left, center. Come on, crunch it up, get those shoulder blades up. Again, think about bringing those ribs to your hips. Three, two, one. Ooh, one more set like that. Feeling it all over, how you doing? I know you are rocking it because this is tough, but you are making it count. You showed up, push right till the very end because we are so close, so close, I'm telling you. We gotta go last set here in five seconds. Three, two, here we go. Remember right, center, left, center. And exhale as you crunch. Good, so close, come on. That burner finisher is the finale, and we are so close. And last one. Quick 
25 second recovery. You can squeeze it in, you can stretch it back, and then we're gonna flip it over because we're gonna do a plank. Now you can do the plank on your knees as well. So if you're doing that plank on your knees, you've got that core engaged, shoulders, elbows, wrists in line, either knees or toes, but get into plank, we're holding. We've got 45 seconds. So just breathe. Squeeze everything, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, push the heels to the wall behind you. So think about lengthening your body as you squeeze. So keep everything strong. And if you hang out with me for our cycling classes, know that building your core here is going to help so much on the bike. So just keep that in mind. We are working to get strong here. Ooh, and it's gonna help us in so many ways. Come on, here's three, here's two. And you made it. Oh my, that was the glutes and the abs. Perker, strengthener, shaper, and yeah, it's working. You rocked it, you did amazing. Do not forget to get a stretch. It's gonna feel oh so good after the hard work you just did. I will see you over here for our stretch. Thanks for joining me, I love ya.